confidently say that I consider him back? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't he, really know. I think right now he's waiting for me to force him to go cheat, but I have no idea what criteria I have to meet. Yeah, well, don't you don't you beat his Samus? Most of the time, yes. Uh, so I guess hey. I need to make Samus not fun for him. It's not fun for him. That's what I try to do. I don't think it's possible, though. Make Please. Samus not fun for him? I definitely think it's possible. Um, I was playing Sheik against his Samus the last time he came out to the meta house, and at one point he picked he picked Sheik and started chain grabbing me. I'm pretty sure that he was not having fun with the Samus games. You just gotta play like you gotta play like you actually dislike him as a person. Wow, that was a really brazen down air. He definitely could have got crash canceled out there. But obviously, I love Mark, so you know, wasn't anything like that. Um, I see. I just want to mention, Icy had an opportunity to kill him like earlier in the first stock, and he missed it. Like. Uh, Jazz Dynamite overcommitted off stage a little bit, and Icy was on the edge with invincibility. He could have just held the edge and he would have died, but he dropped it, and yet he's still like, this is looking really authoritative, you know? Icy is, um, he's a huge proponent, uh, with Cheek of those platform needles. Yeah, yeah, sure. And, like, canceling those into confirms. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, and, and it doesn't seem to really be punished that much by Jazz Dynamite. Yeah. More so, it's actually like landing him more hits. Yeah. And it's a it's a really good idea, especially if your opponent doesn't shield very often. Yeah. Because uh, it beats crash canceling just outright. Yeah. And. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say if he keeps yeah. doing those forward tilts, he's gonna get hit for sure. Yeah, forward tilts not safe against Luigi at low percents. Yeah. Uh, this might be... Oh, I was inspecting it there. Yeah, there would have been the better choice for sure. Um, nice he small he, jump. Yeah, he missed times the, the, uh, the ledge sand there. Oh, wow, he dies. He was definitely dying hard away. Yeah, and he was a decent bit off stage. Yeah, yeah. Cheeks fair being what it is. Yes, it's a fine move. I love that move. It's so satisfying to hit people with. When you hit them with just like a raw forward air, after like three seconds of like them lasering you, <laughs> and you like get them to run into you, and then you just fair them, and then like get a grab out of it and kill them, it feels so good. Ooh, nice. That was a really smart back air. Yeah, it was, and that's like kind of a, kind of a fundamental with Sheik, you know, and actually with Marth too. A lot of characters like that matter. You kind of threaten them in the air and try to get them to throw either an escape or some kind of, like, a hitbox that covers their body, and then you, you drop a little bit. Yeah, something yeah. Icy's told me a lot is uh, what he one of the th core things he learned from Brawl was... I was going to mention that, actually. Yeah, was, was doing that short hop to just bait out a reaction out of your opponent yeah. and make them feel threatened, and then, you know, punish the, the cooldown of whatever option they decide to land with. Yeah, for sure. It could even be like, maybe the move is still out, but if you just pick a better angle, like Sheik is good at playing that game. You know, she's good at vertical positioning games, and the way her the way her back air hits, and the way the hitbox is positioned makes it really, really hard to beat out from like a favorable angle for her. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, a lot of Brawl players are impeccable with that kind of stuff. Just because they had to be. Because that's a huge part of Brawl. I mean, you know that. Yeah, juggling was yeah. probably one of the biggest parts. Like, if you can get damage off of, you know, being in a favorable position, yeah. then you weren't going to make it in yeah. that game. Pretty interesting game, actually. Like, for as much as people hate on it, I did enjoy watching Brawl at a high level. As long as there wasn't... There wasn't I, if there was not... If it wasn't, an, like, like either... Like, camping. Or if, if it's, like, Meta Knight Dittos, or, like... Anything with Ice Climbers, really. I actually really enjoyed um, Meta Knight Dittos, at a, but only at the top level, because yeah. you could see that a lot of, like, a lot of high-level ideas are being incorporated. Yeah, sure, sure. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like watching Fox Dittos, in terms of, like, they have all the options, yeah, and they can use yeah. them on each other. That makes sense. Yeah, I remember watching... Uh, 
I think it was like Zero versus Nairo, maybe, at Apex. Was it Apex 2015? Oh, uh, that, that was uh, not my favorite yeah. set to watch, honestly. Uh, uh, that was during Brawl's decline. Yeah, when, yeah. When uh, the meta started to stale a lot. Uh, did it just start to become like blight and camping? It started, to, it started to become either camp or play ice climbers. Yeah. Or, you know... Or a camp against ice climbers. With, with Meta Knight. With Meta Knight, yeah. yeah. And that's what Zero did to ESAM in Losers Finals. He just... Or maybe it was uh, like even Nairo against ESAM, but he literally stood at the edge and just like stood there and when ice climbers came near him, he would down tilt towards them. And I guess in that game, Meta Knight's down tilt is a frame trap into itself and it moves him forward. So like... That's pretty stupid, first of all. <laughs> yeah, but, and it, it yeah. confirms into a lot. Yeah, there. but then there were a lot of times, like in Grand Finals when it was Meta Knight Dittos, they would both be under the stage. Like, they use, like, all their jumps and, like, all of their escape options. They try to hit each other at least, like, three times, and then they both make it back, and it's that's, like, a totally normal exchange for Brawl. Meta yeah, Knight because Dittos. they just have, like, infinite recovery options. Yeah. Which it made it uh, more important for you to like get the read in that yeah. matchup just to get the outright kill. Mm -hmm. But then there were also times when you'd end up getting kills in that matchup at like 20%. Yeah. And it's like such an abnormality to see that. To yeah. see Meta Knight just die right off, <laughs> right off the side yeah. with like a shuttle loop or something. Okay.